G'day, I'm Jess Garrett and welcome to Surfing Australia TV. Well, we have plenty of surfing action for you to sink your teeth into today. Take a look at what's coming up. Jump aboard the magical mystery bus as we hit the road for part two of our family camping trip to Sydney with the coffee surfing clan from the Gold Coast. Now sisters, Holly Days and Ellie Jean definitely take control, but as with most family camping trips, it's not all sunshine and lollipops. No, Mother Nature decides to crash the party and there's certainly no shortage of drama to keep poor dad on his toes. We're jumping on the magical dream bus. Going back to where I grew up is really fun. I always love coming back here and catching up with all my friends that I grew up with. We lived in a huge, beautiful, big house in Sydney, million dollar house. And then one night my mum was skating outside and um, fell off and cracked her skull and had internal bleeding. She was in a coma for a while, an uninduced coma, and then she died and come back to life. We were all in hospital that night, just like praying to God. And Mum made a full recovery. It took her roughly a year. She had to learn to walk again. And during that time, my dad had this like huge idea about how he was going to change our lives. And, and he sold our house bought a caravan. At the time I was like, oh my god, this is so not cool. Like my friends, my ten-year-old boyfriend, you know, like I'm not cool with this dad. Within three months, me and my brother, we were getting up early every morning, surfing for hours on end, coming home, making fires, literally building bow and arrows because we thought it was so cool at the time. And just like living life to the absolute like hippie natural way and I completely changed as a person. We surfed so much around the countryside that we decided we really liked it. We wanted to get good, picked up sponsors along the way, travelled a lot of places and it's been absolutely amazing. The personalities in my family range from absolutely extreme to the most simple human being. Ruby is the most, one of the most special people that I've ever met in my life. She's like a little puppy dog, like they're just like, you know, and puppies are just like really nice. <laughs> and Bonnie's just like a mini me, basically. She's oh, so beautiful and gorgeous. And Holly's personality, she's, we have a lot of similarities. We're very competitive and we're very determined. Teenager. And then there's me, and everyone would say <laughs> that I am the, probably the biggest personality in the family. <laughs> Ellie's a nutcase, no one knows what's going on with her. <laughs> Some days I wake up and I want to be like Marilyn Monroe, other days I want to just be like a total gangster. <laughs> Some days I just have really, really harsh mood swings. I'm going to take this going. This is not your back. Ellie is such a unique person. I haven't met anyone like her. She's so funny, like you can just have the best moments with her. Holly and I can just do these crazy, out of control teenage girls. And Jackson basically just has to put up with us 24-7. He's just the nicest guy. Camping with my whole family is like one of the funnest things. You know, now that we're getting older, we don't do it as regularly as what we used to. To go back on a trip like this has just been so fun. I went to bed around 11 and didn't fall asleep until about four o'clock in the morning. There was the tent and it was leaking. I woke up pretty much in a puddle, like it was just all saturated. I walk outside and it's just absolutely saturated. The whole thing was just like ruined. That's what we slept in, over there. Have you seen the water in that thing? I'm thinking some people helped out, many people didn't. 
now we just have absolutely no option but to go into a five star hotel. Sarah, I don't want to deal with this. Just tell her to give me my clothes. I don't have any clothes either. Dad, I'm not going to. She's not allowed to have some of my stuff and I'm not allowed to have some of her stuff. And of course she goes into my cupboard and grabs out my favourite thing that I've like gotten like the day beforehand. Dad, these aren't hollies. She can wear the ones I was wearing today, she can go find them. She doesn't them. want to wear yours, they Like if I ever did that to her, she'd probably like hit me or something. I think now that I've grown up a little bit and she has, we've kind of gotten over that stage and now we're just like, she's my best friend, I love her so much. You know, today like I was just out the point surfing and then like next minute I look over and there's like Bonnie just paddling out there and I was like, I felt like I didn't even know you surfed and then she got this wave like literally dad just pushed her on and she's like got it from like right out the point all the way through and was like bouncing along. Being out there and seeing like Ruby get a wave go past you and it's just as good as you getting a good wave watching them get one. I think everyone's just stoked on the trip. It kind of lived up to its expectations, so um, yeah, it's been really good. Being on the road with everyone is so amazing. I don't really know any other way of life. <laughs> Sun's out and the water's blue and the whole family's out there and we're all just surfing together and we're just feeding off each other's vibes. Happiness is just travelling and surfing and just having fun. I think if you're not having fun then it's not worth it. And I'm surfing and I'm travelling and I'm living the dream. I want to be the best I can be, and there's no better high than pushing myself and my surfing. For me, surfing is everything. I can't imagine not having surfing with me for the rest of my life. Don't let drugs destroy your future. Travelling overseas with your mobile phone can be very expensive. That's why we created Travel Sim, a prepaid international roaming SIM card that works in over 190 countries. With great low rates, no matter where you are or where you're calling, your costs are under control. And with Travel Sim, you can finally use your smartphone for what it was designed for, even overseas. Travel Sim, what you want when you travel. Get yours from participating retailers or online at travelsim.net.au. All eyes were on Snapper Rocks when the new look ASP World Tour arrived on the Gold Coast for the first event of the year, the Quicksilver and Roxy Pro. The world's best surfers gathered at the famous Point Break and they certainly didn't let down the huge crowds with a spectacular display of high performance surfing. In an epic final day of competition, Joel Parkinson was all that stood in the way of a Brazilian invasion of Snapper Rocks. As Adriano D'Souza and Gabriel Medina had earlier eliminated 11-time world champion Kelly Slater and defending three-time world champion Mick Fenning in the quarterfinals. Medina then snatched an inside wave on the siren to knock out Taj Barrow in the semi-final and set up a final against Parkinson who had knocked out D'Souza. 
Parkinson dominated the early stages, taking barrel after barrel from behind the rock. But Medina, always a threat, left it late again, snatching victory. To remember. You look overcome with emotions. Just ex describe to me how you're feeling right now. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I don't know what to say, you know, like... I don't mean it, but he got the car. And I really respect these guys that I beat today. Uh, I think that was the best day of my life, for sure. Gabriel Medina, the Quicksilver Pro Champion. With clean four-foot right-handers rolling down the point in the early rounds, this year's Roxy Pro produced the best women's performance surfing in the history of the women's tour. Tyler Wright and Sally Fitzgibbons were flying the flag for the Aussies, both reaching the quarterfinals. Five-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore then went on to take out the Roxy Pro Gold Coast title, eliminating South Africa's Bianca Butentag in the final. You feel like a rock star. <laughs> um, but the best feeling is just having all of your friends there and um, just high-fiving everyone. And Oh my gosh, I haven't felt that feeling for a little while. I guess it's been a couple of years. But yeah, it's going to be a hard year, but I don't know. We'll see. I definitely have a lot of confidence after this event. It was a big week for the local Aussie contingent with several strong performances setting the foundation for a solid year ahead. One of the highlights was the performance of Snapper Rocks local, Mitch Cruz. Mitch is in his rookie year on the ASP World Tour and showed he fully deserves his place with the world's best, eliminating fellow Aussie Julian Wilson in round three before coming up against a red hot Mick Fenning in the fifth yeah, round. Like TJ's going to have a look at the wave on the outside, so a bit of change here, Dindy. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Another local, Josh Kerr, also made a strong start to the year, reaching round five and proving yet again he is one of the most dangerous surfers to come up against. The ASP World Tour rolls onto Margaret River in West Oz and then onto Torquay, Victoria for the Easter Classic at Bells Beach. Australia's leading sports organisations have made a pledge to tackle youth binge drinking. Now when you're watching your favourite sports, like football, swimming, basketball, netball and surfing, you'll see this logo. It's all about coming together to have a positive influence on our drinking culture. We're strong enough to say enough. And you can be too. Back your judgement. Stand up for what you believe in. Be the influence. As the dust settled on the Quicksilver Pro, it was time for the Grommies to take over the South East Queensland Point Breaks during the Wahoo Surf Camp. As the winners of the under 14 divisions of the Wahoo Surfer Groms Comps, which were held right around Australia, their prize was a three day training camp at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. An amazing opportunity, and it's safe to say that froth levels were at overload. We're here for the Wahoo Boys Surf Camp. We've got some of the best kids from all around Australia who've won their Wahoo comp in their area. It's a good way for young kids to surf their best in contests and show other people what they can do. Today we're going to be covering technique, competition surfing, as well as some progressive surfing. The waves are pumping today. We're going to be at Greenmount. They're frothing. They're pumping! Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the waves were sick, it was epic. The sand was just in the perfect spot and the load just got low and just started draining. The Wahoo Camp is all about getting the best 12 and 13 year old surfers in Australia that have competed well at the Wahoo contests previously to 
get them to come along at a camp with the HPC coaches and try to further their surfing even more so they get better results in the future. It's really good because the level's really high and it's pushing, pushing your standard. The benefits with using the video with the session is being able to analyse the footage that we get. Are they critical enough with their turns? Are they getting deep enough with their barrels? They might need to see the footage and really understand where they're going wrong to apply themselves in a better way next surf. Like if they see something that they can pick up on, they will tell us and see how we can improve. I'd like to improve my barrel ride and just try to get deeper and improve my technique. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool and everyone like cheers you on and everyone's just like, oh. <laughs> It's just so cool these days. The coaches here just tell you what to do and what you're doing good and what you're doing wrong. The HPC just trains people to their top ability and makes them surf better and act better and just be more fit. Like all the people here, they just get better and better. Yeah, having Jack Freestone come in was pretty cool. We got to ask him some questions about his surfing career and. He shreds too, so it's good to get his advice. Open up, guys. What you guys got? Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy. Yeah, yeah. How's the going? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be one of the first questions. Have you guys been surfing Kieran stuff the last few days? Surfing, uh, How was it today? It was good, huh? Glad you guys got ways. Never give up. I swear, it's crazy what can happen in just one contest. That's that's all it is. Well done to everyone, flared it up, barrels, airs, everything, it was awesome. You lucky devils, got all these packs, all these goodies from our sponsors. Hanging out with mates, getting coached, what are the friendliest and helpful camps that I've been to? We always wanted to surf, but didn't know how. Then Mum found out about Vegemite Surf Grums. You get an awesome Quicksilver pack. We learn all about the ocean and catching waves, and they have the best instructors. It's like, woohoo! Anyone can do it. Party wave? So give it a go. Just go to surfgrums.com to join. Eight lucky Vegemite Surf Broms were given the red carpet treatment as VIP guests at the Quicksilver and Roxy Pro. Now, every participant in Surfing Australia's world first junior surfing program had the chance to enter this prize. All they had to do was take a photo of themselves enjoying the program and enter it through the Nikon Cool Picks competition. This is the third year that we've done the Vegemite Surf Proms at the Quicksilver Pro and we, we kind of look forward to it now each year because it, it's a fun event and today we were teaching the kids right in front of the contest area so you're watching the pros out the back and having fun with the kids on the inside and it, it's just a great environment and really fun. You know, to be able to do that as a young kid, to come along with one of their parents and actually see the, the set up here at the Quicksilver Roxy Pro and to actually go in the water, which we just did at Snapper Rocks and have the competition sort of going on at the same time and having the best female surfers in the world, um, you know, basically competing while we're pushing kids on, on waves. Absolutely amazing experience, you know, I think it's something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Absolutely fantastic. I love seeing the, the kids get out there and um, you know catch the waves. It's incredible. They're all so tiny yet they're brilliant surfers and it's just going to keep growing and growing. I think it's a fantastic way for kids to really get out and keep active and you know start their day in, in the right way. It's um, you know it's, it's great to see kids being active. Get pushed down onto them. 
<laughs> extremely happy little Vegemites. I think there's lots of happy little Vegemites on the beach today. We've been serving a lot. I guess there's no greater thrill than actually pushing a young kid on a wave and actually seeing the excitement on their face when they do it. And I think for Quicksilver from a company point of view, I think it's really important for them to be involved in, you know, like, I guess grassroots programs like this. There's so many kids who would love to learn to surf, whose parents don't surf, who can't help them. And a program like the Vegemite Surf Groms is just the, you know, the ultimate way to get them into the sport you know, teach them about surfing. To have the skill of being able to surf is a, a really incredible thing to have. And I think more importantly with the program, not just about learning to surf, you actually learn about the ocean. It's basically also a safety program. The program was set up for that reason, was not just to teach kids to surf, but it sets them up skills for life to keep themselves safe in the water. It really helps keep the parents uh, a little more comfortable knowing that their kids are capable in the water. You get to like, go out on the big waves and stuff. It's in the ocean and I like the ocean. They're just buzzing, they're, they're so stoked, they're running around and you can see they're having the time of their life. It's the look on their faces today, their little eyes light up, you know, they saw Steph Gilmore sitting in the players lounge, just walking around with Mark Richards and, you know, an amazing lifetime experience for them and it just it motivate them to go on to be better surfers and maybe world champs one day, who knows, we might have one out there. You know, I think there's a really good chance that somewhere in the future we may see a, a male or a female Australian world champion who initially started surfing because of the Surf Groms program. surfing country, the waves, the stories, our legends and our future. The freshest Australian surfing is here. My Surf TV. Every weekend, over 70 young Australians end up in hospital because of alcohol-related violence. I choose not to be one of these statistics, and I don't want my family or friends to be either. The partnership with Be The Influence tackling binge drinking means that young people can now be a part of surfing without being bombarded with booze images. A lot of people don't realise they're binge drinking. If you drink a lot in a short space of time trying to get drunk, you're binge drinking. Peer group pressure can be tough, but only you know what's best for your body. Good friends don't pressure you into something you don't want to. So go out with friends who think like you. And by doing so, we can start to change the drinking culture in our country. Be, Be the influence, influence and help us tackle, tackle binge drinking, drinking in, in Australia. Australia. Surfing Australia has produced its second major documentary on female surfing in Australia. The next wave follows eight of Australia's elite junior surfers as they strive to make selection at the World Junior Surfing Championships and their quest to rule the waves on the international stage. One of the stars of the doco is Holly Warne from Newport on Sydney's northern beaches. I'm Holly Warne, I'm 15 years of age and I'm currently the under 16 Australian Junior Surfing Champion. Like the sun is here to stay. 
my dad and my cousin Chris taught me how to surf when I was really little and everyone likes the beach in my family, every single person likes to swim and even may not be surfing but everyone likes to be on the sand and in the water and everyone would rather be on the sand in the water than at home on a computer. The first time I caught a wave, I think, I don't remember because I was only like two and a half, three and I was at Pretty Beach um, with Dad and he pushed me in on his Stuart Cat and every time you see a surfing mum used to stand on the beach and push me back out to Dad. Dad would get me and take me back out, all the way back in and then Mum would push me back out and it would be really fun and Dad used to always complain about his, how sore his arms were from pushing me in and, and he used to just, no they're not, you're such a wuss, come on let's go again. <laughs> And so at my school they, they let me have time off and they always, they're always just there to help with assignments and whatever. They're really cool and caring and all the teachers are really young at my school and so they all really kind of know what it's like and they always give you a little bit extra time because they know that it's hard when you're away to do your schoolwork. I like eating healthy and I always eat healthy, I like my food and I think fitness is a very big thing in surfing and you have to be fit to be able to progress and it helps you so much more and it progresses you so much faster. And when you're a surfer, you feel that, like that surfer feeling and you're in the water and you feel that thing. You don't have to be in a competition, you don't have to be taking it seriously, just to be in the water. It's a really good environment to be in and I think it's a lot of fun. I think surfing is like the best sport in the world for sure. It's, it's, you can't beat it. Well, that's all we have time for on today's show. For more information on anything that you have seen, just head to our website and we would be stoked if you could follow us on social media. I'm Jess Garrett and I'll see you next time for more Surfing Australia TV.